Okay, what you're looking at here is my home-built PIC prototyping board. Uh, it's basically built for the 18-pin chips like the... Uh, mainly what I'm using here is the 16F628 and the little empty socket down here is for the 12F683. This chip is a TLC 548 um, the 628A lacks an A to D converter and I had the chip left over from a Radio Shack buy years ago so I'll hook that up and show you later how that works. Let's look at what we got here. We got a rotary encoder which I'm going to be making use of in a demo. Here's your uh, reset switch if you want to use it for that. Coming down over here, uh, it's a 16 megahertz crystal. If you look more up here in the corner for these connectors, that's a plug-in for a um, RS-232 interface. Here is one of your 32 kilohertz clock crystals, one of the uh, demos that I'm uh, going to do with this. It's already been tested out. I can use um, oscillator, let's see, timer 1 can operate as its own separate oscillator separate from this. And so it's very it produces a very nice one second uh, interrupt or you can get it down to a half second or quarter second depending on what value you store in uh, timer 1. Alright, this is a power switch. These are just jumper connectors. These come off of uh, eBay and here's eight LEDs. Uh, here is a plug to a PIC programmer so you can program in circuit if you want to. Um, that's mostly what I'm going to do with the 683 there. And what I've been using for a programmer is what is called a K150 that cost me about twelve dollars off of eBay it works fantastic um, a lot of people were complaining they don't work well the reason they don't work is the drivers they were handing out uh, don't work I happen to have the correct driver so if somebody has one of these and you can't get the driver to work give me an email and I'll be glad to uh, send it to you And this is part of a whole series of small demos that I'm going to be using the uh, these little simple picks for. Like I said, most of the programs I've written have been way under 100 bytes. And the 628's got 2K. You just can't beat that. I mean, assembly, and this, by the way, I'm doing it in assembly language. I've done assembly language for the 68,000. I thought I'd sit down and learn assembly language for the PIC, and it's not bad. Only 35 instructions, and they're easy to catch on to if you have any programming experience. You, you still need to know something about electronics. And what we'll be using is the pulse width modulation, uh, the external A to D, and all kinds of little fun things. So let's let's everybody get inspired and let's get to work.